music has come out of God's love to us. Anything that is not for God's love is not music. I'll give you an example. There was a lady who used to do some sort of a kawali, and I was on the censor board, I censored her kawalis, and I said, uh, this is not a kawali. She said, why? I said, this is called as mujra. This is a horribly sensuous and horrible thing, it's an insult of God, you can't sing like that. So she said, no, this is kawali. I said, do you know kawali was never sung by women and was never done in this dirty fashion, the way like a prostitute you are singing this kawali. It's always, all the music was in the praise of God. And that's why Muhammad Sahib said that all the music should be in the praise of God and should not be. So we had other things like Nath and all that. But you find, even at the time of Shri Krishna, all the music was to be just done for Ra, Sa. Ra, Ra is energy, Sa means Sa. With Radha, they were playing together, playing Rasa, and that's how they were doing. The circulation of the energy to integrate themselves and singing the music. It is for that. But you find that uh, people are, don't understand. They use music for sensuousness. Is anti God. This music force has come to us to praise God. That's all. For nothing else. For doing all kinds of dirty things and singing all kinds of funny things. Imagine. And the reaction is built in so much. When he said that all the music should be in the name of God, we have a person like Aurangzeb who would not take to any music. He was such a staunchy fellow. And the other Muslims who came in, would not sing anything that is kawali or anything, would sing horrible ghazals, which are just describing the separation of a woman and a man and all kinds of dirty things. With these disintegrated temperaments, people took to anything that came to them just to please themselves. When the advent of this thing, like Umar Khayyam, who is he? He's anti-God, absolutely anti-God man, horrible. But people appreciate him very much, Umar Khayyam, what a poetry it is. It, they appreciate. Why? Because the disintegrated part of their heart likes Umar Khayyam when he sings, oh, we should drink here, what is there in this life, we don't know what is going to be there. Because Muhammad Sahib has said not to drink, he must sing such a song. This is the poetry of Mr. Umar Khayyam, who is being very much respected everywhere. And he is very much regarded as a great poet in, uh, in Iraq, where today Khomeini is one great uh, horrible man is born, and he still respects this Umar Khayyam. I don't know how can he respect him. What a contrast! It is just see. What a contrast! This Umar Khayyam singing dirty songs. They are not in praise of God. Music which is not in the praise of God is not music, is ashleel, is filth, is dirt. Our classical music in, in India was based on Om. Even at Kundalini, when it reaches here, at the Vishuddhi Chakra, it makes all the sounds a, 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 e, e, u, u, a, i, o, o, ru, ru, lu, lu, am, aha. All these sixteen vowels are coming from the sixteen chakras or the sub chakras or the petals of this Vishuddhi chakra. These are Bija mantras of the Vishuddhi chakra. All the vowels come from here. And when we sing dirty songs, we spoil this chakra Vishuddhi. That's why all the people who sing these dirty songs have to take to drinking because I think they can't bear or they can't do it. They can't sing these bad songs unless and until they take to some sort of an escape from God. So music and drinking started going hand in hand. In the West the music broke all its traditions because they had no sense left in them 
to recognize that music is meant only for God, only for hymns, to be sung in the praise of God. All music should be in the praise of God. All ragas should be in the praise of God. We had no namaz system of different times, but we have a system of music in different times. At different times a certain music should be played, where you describe a mood, and all the moods that are described have to relate themselves to God. There is no other mood that is enjoyable to the spirit that does not relate to God. There is no mood which one can enjoy. Even vibhatsa, the mood of vibhatsa is grotesque. Even that mood one enjoys, one, one can listen to when they see the filth and dirt, the left side. It's so scientific, our music system is extremely scientific because it was taken in the form of uh, this music, when actually the Kundalini moving into different the Sapta Swaras. These seven Swaras are built in our seven chakras. We start with Sa, then Re, the Ma, Mother. Pa, the, ni. My name also starts with ni. These seven swaras are built in with seven notes, and there are vikrutis, uh, vikrut saras, which are the side, other, uh, what you call, uh, chakras that we have to make about twelve swaras. But nobody understood the real meaning of music. Sharada, the Goddess of Saraswati, is the one who carries the message of Virata within us and tells us how to sing. She tells us what is appealing to God. How these ragas were made also, just think of it. Because first they chose the notes the aroha, avrohas, the going up and down, which was appealing to God. So the melodies were created. Melodies are fixed. You cannot change the melodies, the, the notes, because they found out that at this point the Spirit awakened. On the vibrations they found out. They found out that when they sang, this way it worked out. The veena they played and they found out the exact swaras exact swaras, which would really make you feel nice. Now you know that those people who have from, come from the West don't understand any Indian music on the mental level, but they understand at the spiritual level because they, their spirits get filled with joy and the vibration starts flowing. The sense of music, this depiction of music was done by Sri Krishna. It is He, the one who taught Tala. Of course, we can say that Shiva is the one who dances the Tala, but the one who depicted it for human beings, who gave the message to the world how the Tala should be, is Shri Krishna through His dancing movements. <coughs> he kept the Tala all the time, like the way he stands itself suggests how he kept the tala. And he played the murli also to suggest that music is what God's love is. His music is suggestive of God's love that suits you, that clears you, that makes you happy, that makes you, gives you joy. And that's why he suggested through his singing, through his. Uh, music.